All right, everyone, here we are on the infected system again. So, uh, this time I got Kaspersky Internet Security 2016, obviously, setup file right here. But it appears as if it gave me the downloader this time instead of the actual file, which is very interesting because it's only 1.81 megabytes. Um, don't know why it did that. I used the same link as I did last time. Um, but anyways, regardless, we're going to go ahead and run it and see what it actually does. If it can install itself onto this infected virtual machine. Now, maybe Kaspersky's smart enough uh, to know that it's infected and is, uh, in, in a sense, going to give me a downloader instead of a uh, regular one. But um, I don't necessarily know why I would do that. So essentially, we got to wait now for it to download. And um, incompatible software detected. Remove selected software. Okay. We're off to a wonderful start. So it looks like we have that 360 antivirus on here. And we're going to attempt to remove it. Because Kaspersky can't run without it. Uh, software is incompatible. has been removed. Click continue. Restart your... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hmm. It's going to take forever to restart the system now. Great. All right, guys, so I guess we're not installing it just yet. We gotta reboot the system. And as you all know, the system is highly infected and takes about 20 years to reboot. Okay, maybe not 20 years, but close enough. So I will be back, get my mouse back here. Get my mouse back, there we are. All right, so uh, I will be back once the system has fully rebooted and uh, we get back to where we left off with Kaspersky. So be right back. Well, actually I'll probably end up waiting until um, you already see it's downloading. You don't even have to watch me download it. So once the download is uh, complete and we get into more of the installation portion, I will be back with an update on the progress. So see you in a bit. All right, everyone. So it looks like the installation is finally finished after it booted. And I want to say I commend Kaspersky on the fact that they actually started the installation automatically after the system rebooted. So that was really nice uh, of them to do that for me. And that just made the installation that much easier. So uh, let's go ahead and click finish here and start getting Kaspersky started up just because, yeah, it's going to take a while on this system. It's very slow. <laughs> it's very full of malware. Lots and lots of malware. <laughs> but, you know, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, right? <laughs> Pretty much. So, uh, once Kaspersky comes up here, eventually, it looks like it's trying. Yikes. Ugh, okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> That's not looking so good. Now, Kaspersky supposedly has its uh, self-defense capabilities, so we'll see how that works, because I do know there's a lot of ransomware on this system, a lot of which is uh, continuously re-encrypting the hard drive of any new data and, and things like that. Um, so that's very interesting. It'll be nice to see if uh, Kaspersky is able to defend itself against such a threat. And as you've seen, the uh, safe money icon was just dropped on the desktop. Right now, I think that's the least of our worries considering I wouldn't put uh, even my name in this uh, system right now <laughs> is infected as it is. But I have encountered systems that haven't been this close, you know, haven't been even close to being as infected as this one is, but they've been fairly, uh, fairly bad to the point of I even, it even scares me putting my flash drive in, but, uh, I end up formatting it every time I'm done then, if, uh, that is the case when it comes to cleaning up a system just to, just to be safe to make sure that, uh, no malware is able to creep on there. Now I just got bad USB to worry about. That's that's a disaster right there waiting to happen. So anyway guys, what I'm gonna do after this is I'm going to tweak a few of the settings as I did in the other video uh, just so that it makes the scanning go quicker. But um, I'm gonna start the scan then right away, get that going just so I don't have to bore you guys anymore. And uh, once the scan results are completed, I'll go ahead and attempt to remove everything, or I guess I'll show you guys what it found, and then we'll attempt to move everything, remove everything, to, and um, go from there. So, I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, so it uh, looks like we, well, we're activating Kaspersky right now, and we got our first uh, detection window right here saying add were detected. And I went ahead and checked the box that says apply this action to all adware. And we're going to go ahead and click delete. And watch nothing happen at all. Because <laughs> it's going really slow. But that's how removal tests go. So uh, that, with that said, I just wanted to show that to you guys, and uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so I changed the uh, settings here, and the computer is starting to calm down a little. Well, maybe not calm down, but it's getting a little bit better. Um, so yeah, essentially, we got another alert over here: legitimate software that can be used for criminals. Uh, did I disinfect and restart the computer? No, we're going to try to disinfect without restarting the computer. And we're going to apply that to all of them. Apply it to all of them. All right. So let's see, let's see if we can get those alerts to kind of be a little bit more automated here. General protection, file antivirus, advanced settings. Um, hmm. Okay, so it looks like maybe it's doing a little bit more in the way of automated uh, detection right now. However, what we're gonna do, and I spoke too soon. <laughs> Okay, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> yeah, guys, there's a lot of malware in the system, as you can see. Malware's been detected. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Apply quick, and there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a scan, because obviously you can see this is just uh, craziness right here. There, do not prompt the next 30 minutes. Just keep going ahead and removing stuff. Okay, so let's go back to scan here. Oh, not settings. We're going to go to scan, and then we're going to go ahead and perform a... It's out of date. Oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot to update the database, guys. I thought it was going to do it automatically, but I guess not. So let's see how long it's going to take. I'll try to close a little bit more of these out of here. You know, at least it's removing stuff. That's a good sign. You know, as, as much as a pain this is, it's a good sign that it's actually doing stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's downloading and removing. <laughs> uh, looks like, are we out of malware yet? Nah, there we go. Just keep clicking. So it looks like it's actually, um, Removing some legitimate processes, but those are most likely uh, processes that have been infected. So, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here all day trying to disinfect. I mean, it's already taking quite a long time, as you can see, for even this to download. So, all right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here temporarily just to let some of this go, uh, go through and start scanning. So nothing really exciting happened right now. I'll be back if anything does. All right, everyone. So the scan is not completed. In fact, it's far from being completed. Uh, it'll be done in about four days. So uh, maybe by next weekend, I'll have this review uh, completed for you. Yeah, I'm not going to wait that long. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and reboot this system into safe mode just because I feel that that's going to make it go faster. Now, I understand this is not considered a novice uh, removal attempt then. This is not going into the, to the techie removal attempt. So, uh, but I don't think that this is going to... Um, what in the, no, 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 don't do that. Let's go here, reset again. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to go safe mode networking here. And we're going to attempt to do a scan within safe mode just because it shouldn't nearly take as long. Uh, I'm going to try to do a full system scan, but I may settle with the quick scan and see how much malware we can reduce with that. Hopefully quite a bit, but um, we will see how long the full scan takes and I will make that uh, decision on myself, or by myself I should say. So. Just wanted to let you guys know that uh, so far scans are very slow, but uh, considering the amount of malware, I can't really hold Kaspersky too much against that. So, 
once the, uh, well, if anything interesting happens, I'll be back. Otherwise, once the scans are completed, or the scan is completed, I will be back. All right, everyone, so the quick scan has finished, and it found 78 objects. And as you can see right here, and as you can see, there we go. Uh, quite a bit, but it looks like it might be the same infection on the system. Um, but it does look like it cleared everything up pretty well, as you can see, we are experiencing quite a bit of uh, malware gone right there. So I'm, this is just a quick scan, guys. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna reboot the system here and see if we have any less malware on here. So uh, once the computer is uh, starting back up, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, everyone, so uh, the computer is actually booting up really fast uh, quite impressed at how much Kaspersky removed on the system which considering considering the detection rate I guess I shouldn't be that surprised as you can see we do have a couple of uh, errors and that the script couldn't be uh, open which is to be expected especially considering there's so much malware on here or was so much malware on here um, let's take a look oh, obviously it's booting up still and it's still a little bit I mean obviously it's really sluggish still but uh, for the most part, it definitely did start up faster. I mean, before I, when I restarted, after installing Kaspersky, it took forever to reinstall. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so we have one issue right here. Uh, so supposedly, so we'll go ahead and uh, resolve this, I guess. Um, what do I think about Kaspersky and the, its ability to remove items from the system? I think it did a pretty good job. I, I really do. I think it did a bang up job on this system. And um, I guess, you know, obviously with that article that I did show you and the information that I have gotten on Kaspersky's uh, issue with creating fake malware, that still doesn't allow me to recommend it. But as maybe as a last resort for a system that is highly infected, I would still have to use the rescue disk just because it does work. And as you can see, Kaspersky does work. So that makes it very difficult for me uh, to, to, to not recommend it. But yet, I, I mean, this is, this, yeah, this is a very difficult decision for me, guys. So, I mean, bottom line is I just, to me, that's inexcusable. The fact that they, they did what they did. And until I have some reassurance that that's not going to happen again, I would not run it on my system. However, as you can see, Kaspersky is doing a very good job at cleaning up this system. Considering that was just a quick scan, guys, that wasn't even a full system scan. Uh, it did a really good job. So I can't recommend it, but it did a really good job. So if them putting possible fake malware in your system isn't that big a deal to you, then this probably is the anti-malware solution for you. If you're concerned about them possibly doing stuff to your computer that could be could hurt you down the road then maybe you should look at something else such as Komodo which is very uh, similar to Kaspersky in uh, security wise and performance wise so that's going to do it guys for the Kaspersky internet security 2016 series I hope you enjoyed it uh, if once again you have any questions post them in the comments I will try to get to them. I know I have, haven't answered a lot of your guys' questions, but that's because I've been very busy. I really do try, and I've noticed a lot of you, a uh, sense of uh, techies out there who watch my channel have been helping answer questions, and I do appreciate that. So uh, I will definitely try to get to as many as I can, as well as make as many videos as possible. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Like the video if you do if you did, subscribe for more, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. And I'm gonna make another video in a little while about subscribing and about YouTube a little bit. So it's gonna be just a kind of a little informational video about uh, ad blockers too. Spoiler alert. So hope you enjoyed it. That'll be it.